With what little was shown from the GTA 6 trailer, fans have been spinning up a ton of theories based on map progression, the true identities of the protagonists, and many other wild narratives. Now, do any of the GTA 6 theories hold weight? Well, let's find out. I'm Akeem, and let's GTF them. The fan theories are nothing new, especially when it comes to a franchise as popular as Grand Theft Auto. Now, with the first trailer, many online have been speculating what the overall story of GTA 6 could be. And some are looking at the lyrics to the song that kicks off the trailer, Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road. Now, diving deep into the GTA forums, one user by the name of Johnny Albuquerque said, quote, I think the lyrics of Tom Petty's song in the trailer could be a giveaway of some sorts. It's about a dangerous girl messing with a guy's head. Lucia might take Jason through the dark path and he ends up dying or just giving up on her. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together. Now, could there be some validity to that statement? Well, let's take a look at the lyrics. There was a girl I knew, she said she cared about me. She tried to make my world the way she thought it should be. So is Lucia seemingly using Jason? I feel so used. Am I just a piece of meat to you? Yes. Who is Jason anyways? Well, if we dive into the GTA 6 subreddit, JoJo Reddit did a breakdown on who the male protag might be. And without mincing words, JoJo flat out calls Jason an undercover cop. Hey, you guys aren't narcs, are you? Whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 no! Dude, come on. Maybe you're a narc. Now keep in mind, this is all speculation, so take this all with the smallest grain of salt. Now, according to the Redditor, Jason apparently fell in love with this lifelong struggling criminal in Lucia. Now, they then go into detail on how we only ever see a side profile of Jason's face unmasked, claiming it's symbolic of him hiding something. Now, if Jason is in fact an undercover cop, that would present a bit of a problem for Rockstar in how will he be able to kill in the game? It will kill. Now, undercover cops tend to toe the line to gain access to the more seedy parts of society, oftentimes staging hits on ops. The GTA is built for you to simply mow down anyone you see fit. Now, these types of games don't exactly have a morality meter, so I don't know if, if I personally can buy into that particular theory. Now, even before the trailer dropped, fans took a very hard look at the announcement image and came up with what's being called the three bird theory. Now, this led many to speculate that the three birds hinted at there being three playable protagonists, or even that Lucia has a child. Now, this one is a bit of a stretch, but there might be some significance in those three flock of seagulls. I don't know, maybe it signifies Aurora Borealis. You know, like that Flock of Seagulls song. Aurora Borealis comes in the Y'all know the one, it was in Vice City. Anyways, maybe I'm reading way too much into this, but one theory that makes sense, a whole lot of sense, is Lucia's movements on the GTA 6 map being restricted due to the limitations brought on by her ankle monitor. A Reddit user Rudra Rousseau pointed this out in a speculation post to the GTA 6 subreddit entitled, you won't be able to explore the map right away. Now this is the most logical and sound theory of them all, as limitations to the maps in GTA and the GTA series in general have been a staple since GTA 3. But maybe this time the narrative hook has to do with the relationship between Jason and Lucia being formed before the bracelet is removed. And Reddit user Herden did some quick editing of the first trailer for GTA 6, putting the pieces of Lucia and Jason's story in reverse order to give us a better idea as to how she wound up in prison. Now, the last shot is them robbing the convenience store, driving away with the cash, and the opening shot of Lucia all locked up. But how does Jason play into all of this? Needless to say, Lucia and Jason's story is playing within the Bonnie and Clyde trope, two criminals madly in love with one another. And given what we've seen in the trailer, social media will play a large role in possibly documenting their law-breaking excursions. Trust? Trust. 
So here we are back in the GTFM studio, my apartment, my humble abode here with Nick and Alan. Now we got a lot of theories to get through. I want to start with the first one. Uh, do we think there is a possibility of Jason being an undercover cop? Okay, I'm gonna be upfront about it. I bought into the hype. I drank the Kool-Aid. I was checking the GTA subreddit and I saw somebody mention a point that immediately made me think, yes, he's either undercover, he is a cop, or maybe even former military. Essentially, um, when they're robbing the uh, liquor store, mm -hmm. the, the claim on the post was that because his watch is being worn on the inside, that that points to him being a cop. So uh, we know that cops, one, like, SWAT team, cop, and former military tend to wear watches with their watch face on the inside of their wrist to prevent any sort of reflection. So if you're infiltrating a location, nobody will be given away by any sort of stray reflections. Yes. However, we've gone through and- uh, we, we debunked this one. We're debunking it live. Yeah. We're debunking it live because if you'll take the laptop feed here, we got a couple examples of him wearing the watch normally. Uh, so as you can see right here, his watch is very much being worn the way I'm wearing mine right now. And additionally, the shot in question, as they are exiting the liquor store, or holding it up right here. This was the shot that everyone was like, yes, excellent work subreddit detective. You found it, he's wearing it on the inside of his wrist. Cop confirmed, but we took a look and if you actually zoom out or pull in just a little bit before, you can very clearly see his watch. That's just the buckle. Yeah, that's just And you the can see the watch yeah. face in the normal position. So I'm sad to say, I don't think he's an undercover cop based on this information. Yeah. However, do you guys still think he's a cop? I, I think it would be very interesting, right? Because you, you do get sort of like the Bonnie and Clyde dynamic that is very clearly like the main theme of the, this trailer. I think it would be interesting to see whether, you know, the the storyline starts off with like maybe he's undercover and he's trying to do like some sort of secret op to like, you know, get in, into like a criminal organization. Or alternatively, he could also be somebody that, that is a lawman that maybe falls in love with Lucia mm. and then eventually ends up sort of you know, falling into this life of, you know, becoming a, a, a criminal, a, a, yeah, a criminal uh, being somebody that starts off as, as a lawman originally. Under, first off, undercover cops, you know, they go through, they go to great lengths to not actually commit the crimes that, yeah. you know, criminals. They're not allowed commit. to kill people. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they, they would typically stage like, OK, let's say you have to like you got to go and kill an op. So they, they would just stage, you know, uh, a murder and take pictures like hey, you see, look, I killed this guy. He's dead. These are pictures of him. He's dead. Now, GTA, you can't stage anything. You know, you can just drive your car and run people over. So On I'm, accident. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I, but, but the thing is, there's no morality uh, meter in Grand Theft Auto. So, I, so, so part of me is thinking, like, if you get to play as Jason, and if he is an undercover cop, well, there's going to be a lot of morals that come into play. He'll probably be immediately fired after the first person he shoots. Well, that'd be an interesting perspective to have in a Grand Theft Auto game that we've never had before, yeah. though, right? The gameplay possibilities of playing as an undercover cop and weighing what is worth, you know, uh, overstepping the line with and what's not and how those kind of play uh, onto each other. I think that also one thing that also kind of complements that theory is the footage from the trailer where we see the uh, police force breaking down. You see their body cam footage. To me, when I first watched the trailer, that kind of stood out to me as being something that feels almost out of place because it, it feels weird to see something from the cop's perspective in a GTA game. So that makes me think that maybe there's elements in this game that haven't been in previous GTA games. So I think that that's an exciting possibility, but I'm gonna say dramatically, I think it makes more sense for him to be a cop, undercover or something like that. Or maybe he's a maybe he's like her parole officer. I mean, yeah, when he when she gets out of prison or whatever, right? How about how about the reverse though? Hmm. Lucia being an undercover cop, or I, I, and I've noticed this online. People pointed out. Lucia, well, CIA, hmm, like <laughs> tinfoil hat, you know, uh, theory right there. It. I don't imagine Rockstar to be cute in that regard, where they're hiding something very big in somebody's name. I, I think Lucia's angle is even more like loose that way, where it's like, I don't really see a world where you, you see the storyline that we've seen in the trailer already, and then still make the argument that she's possibly like an undercover, uh, you know, officer. Yeah. It, it just hit me while you were talking. What if 
What if there's like a deal? I feel like you don't just get released from prison and put on, you know, house arrest or whatever yeah, yeah. for doing a pretty major crime, which makes me think, I wonder if she is a person of note worth, of value, and there is something that the government has interest in her and her connections. So maybe she's being released from prison early as part of a deal. So maybe she's not an undercover cop or anything like that, yeah. but what if she is a rat, essentially? Yeah. Somebody to snitch on maybe some greater connection she might have uh, ties to. And we did see that in GTA 5 too. You do a bunch of missions for the FBI. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's it wouldn't be unprecedented to see that in the GTA games. Yeah. Uh, so we we see uh, in in the poster, Lucia. She has uh, she has a, an ankle monitor on, uh, obviously, which restricts her movement. There's also the theory floating around that that might restrict her movement uh, across the map. Uh, now this isn't something that that would be uh, out of the norm for Grand Theft Auto, as we've seen that in in GTA 3 uh, with the destruction of the Callahan Bridge due to a bombing, and then they had to reconstruct the bridge uh, in Vice City. Uh, there were bridge closures uh, due to hurricanes. This one is more so, it seems like it's it's more narrative driven. So it's like she can't move across the map because of that ankle monitor, as you see right there. How, how much water do we think this particular theory holds? I wonder if th this is maybe like one of those incentives to play as Jason. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the mm -hmm. beginning of the game, you do start with this with this ankle monitor, yeah. and you can only explore so much of the, this area as Lucia. Let, let's say that this theory about Jason being an undercover cop really does hold water. Like maybe that's when he goes and does his meetings with you know his his representatives or you know the people that sort of give him the the info that he needs to go on his next mission. Like I think that could be an interesting angle, and it would play into that Bonnie and Clyde angle and where it it's creates like, separation between them too, where there's nothing suspicious, right? Because yeah, exactly. he's doing business yeah. outside of that zone. But let's let's not let's not give too much validity to the the whole undercover cop theory because like I'm I'm still. I'm still doubting that that Jason is an undercover cop. But what, what I do believe is what will happen is Lucia, she's strict she's restricted to a certain portion of the map. So maybe Jason has to go out and 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 do certain things uh, to kind of like, I guess, keep keep them afloat. Right. So maybe he has to go out and, and rob certain places solo because she can't. She, she's restricted to a certain portion of the map. I think you're gonna be able to explore the map fully with her. Yeah. However, if you leave a certain zone, your wanted level starts going up. And the, and the, I like that. And I the like further that. are yeah. the further you are away from it, the more your wanted level goes yeah. up. So I, you know, if you if you start chilling out in the out in the beaches or whatever, that starts to get five star, and so you're gonna see tanks running up Which on Vice insane. City Beach. It's just one <laughs> one person, they're gonna send tanks and helicopters. Again, that maybe goes back to her ties. Maybe she's a lot more powerful than yeah. we're immediately led to believe. Maybe she has ties to some sort of powerful empires. Like, uh, obviously she's in prison and she gets out. There's something there. What did she do to get into prison and why is she out? And I think she has some powerful ties and I think that's why. Yeah, now let's, so speaking of Lucia, this has separated the, the subreddit for quite a while. Hmm. The trailer hasn't even been out for that long, but it's really separated the, the subreddit. The oh. woman in the bikini is that Lucia or is it just some random NPC? I think it's Lucia based on, on the, the beauty marks. Definitely looks like Lucia. I would make the argument that based on the beauty marks, it's actually not Lucia. Because if you look at all the different angles, there's like four very discernible uh, beauty marks in her face. There's one right next to her eye. Uh, there's one uh, on the right side of her, of her lip. There's one down here. And then I believe there's one on her forehead as well. Uh, and only one of those is visible in this bikini, uh, in the, the bikini scene. I think, Alan, that you have a very keen eye for detail. However, I think you're failing to, for, for, you're forgetting one thing. Uh-huh. Makeup. <laughs> and, yeah, and, I think, and I think that I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to poo poo your idea here. <laughs> I think that there's plenty of reasons why that couldn't be Lucia. However, I, I don't know, man. I feel like GTA is so good about having bespoke mission costumes, yeah. outfits, and looks. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that Lucia here has one dyed her hair. You can see her roots Rated still there. Side, yeah. You can still see the roots there. You can still see the general layout of her hair is roughly the same. It's stylized right here. We have some 
braids, and then of course it's been uh, bleached blonde right on the outside. So I think that there's a world where she's just either adopting a persona yeah. in order to infiltrate this maybe this be a mission. very clearly posh like pool yeah. rooftop party, or maybe this game is just has a level of customizability where you can change. You know, in GTA Five, you can the one of the first things you do with Franklin is customize him. You get him a haircut, you get him a change of clothes, and then Lamar comments on the fact that you don't look like you know a, a bum anymore. <laughs> so I do feel that this is very much oriented towards Lucia. She's the through line that we see coming back to over and over. We see the opening with her in the prison. Yeah. We see her on the joyride in the middle of the uh -huh. street. This is very much her. She's wearing the same bracelet yeah. that she's wearing in the heist. Too. And that is my next piece of evidence as to why it is not Lucia. She is wearing a different bracelet hold on. in the rooftop okay. scene. So hold on. So we talked about customization though. We got a bracelet right here. She is wearing a, a, a gold, gold bracelet. bracelet on her yeah. right wrist. That seems to have a, ch uh, a chain on the back and some sort of like flat plate on the front. Which you and can also see. She wears in the, it in every other scene except the rooftop scene. In the joyride, you can see Let it very clearly back on her up. wrist up here. And lastly, if we go back to the rooftop, she is not wearing it on her right yeah, wrist. Yeah, this seems more like beads almost. But I want to move. I want to move on to. Okay, we we can. Keep, we're gonna keep this argument going. I'm no while. longer Nick. Oh my God! I'm Nick. no longer Nick. <laughs> Nick left. Take off I took off. I took off my watch, and I'm no longer Nick. Okay, I want my last point though. Uh, Tom, Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road. Lots of fans have been saying that, that that's alluding to the relationship between Lucia and Jason. Do we do we believe that to be so? Absolutely. 100%. Looking, looking at yeah. the lyrics. I don't think they would have paid for the license unless it had some sort of like significance yeah. to the story. It, it is based on the location where the game is going to be yeah. happening. So I think there's, there's multiple layers to it. But yeah, I don't think they would do anything without having some sort of just cause to have it in. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's your musical montage, right? Rockstar has always been influenced by film, and there's no easier way to kind of pay homage to cinematic influences than a song is talking about the montage that's playing mm -hmm. as, you know, footage unfolds. It creates a relationship between the visuals and the music that you hear, and I think it's very clear this is about, this game is going to be about these two people who are, from the trailer, we see romantically involved, either that or maybe she's just, you know, taking a seat. Pop <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I mean, looking at the lyrics, like, she tried to make my world the way she thought it should be, so it could be her possibly manipulating Jason. Do you think she's the toxic one in this relationship? It's hard to say, but it definitely seems as if Jason is following her. He's definitely following her to the ends of the earth, wherever she wants to take him. It, um, it does seem like in this trailer, though, because it feels like it's about her, she does seem to command more attention than Jason yeah. in this, and that's obviously just by nature of, you know, sometimes you need to pick footage, right? Yeah. So I wonder if the Jason trailer saying, uh, you know, when that eventually drops, if that's going to paint that relationship in a different light, different dynamic, mm -hmm. or maybe it's a, a power balance. Maybe it's a back and forth thing. Maybe they're both toxic. They're yeah. both criminals yeah. after yeah. all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this definitely wasn't a coincidence uh, to have uh, this particular song uh, in this trailer. Uh, but Alan, Nick, I want to thank you all so much for running through these theories. I think we, we covered a lot. I think we, we, de we debunked at least I would say one for sure. Uh, <laughs> the rest is up for you to do uh, at home. Thank you all so much for watching GTFM. We'll see you next time.